youtubers hello um well i just wanted to give an update on how my appointment went today i went to the doctor and um i got to see him so uh, i'm gonna tell you a little bit about it um i have my uh, my earring tested and it tested again positive for pregnancy i was sent to get some blood work and i saw the doctor I'm a little bit disappointed because I asked the doctor what well, were my chances of having an ectopic pregnancy and he told me that 80% so it left me just like with 20% of having a normal pregnancy so yeah it's kind of upsetting and I'm very very sad and I'm actually getting to the idea that this is an ectopic and that I will probably look at soon and um, it breaks my heart but um, yeah, that's, that's, those are the chances, and I guess there's nothing we can do. So it's just um, wait and see, and see what God had in store for us. Um, he wants to see me back on Monday to have another blood drum, and on Tuesday I have to go back again to have an ultrasound done. I will be four weeks and five days or something like that by then, so hopefully I will get to see the baby or something, you know, that indicates that the baby is in the uterus, uterus, or in the fallopian tube, or whatever, but I cannot wait any longer, I'm really hoping to see something by then, because just waiting, waiting until Tuesday, it's like nerve wracking, you know, it's, I'm so nervous, I haven't been able to sleep very good, just thinking, and I don't think I will be sleeping any good until they tell me whether this is something viable or not it will the baby be taken out or not you know I don't know so it's very very nerve wracking and um, even though I remain positive I remain a little hopeful that but that this day a baby might be in the uterus and this is gonna be a normal pregnancy I can't sugarcoat the reality that this baby may um, be in a topic and um, he won't be here with us in a few weeks so yeah I'm getting used to that idea not getting too attached but yeah I think I will be sad if I lost my tooth or if they do something in there and leave me with no possibility of a reversal or anything if I ever wanted more kids that would be really really painful to me because I always thought that if I ever regret my decision that I will that I will get to a reversal and I always had that on my mind and I will always end up saying doesn't matter what I have to do if I ever ever regret this, my decision I will do whatever it takes whatever it takes and whatever I have to do to get the money to come up with the money to get um, my reversal done and you know and I always said that if I want it like bad enough I will do it so I want them I want them to keep my tooth and um, my uterus and my reproductive part in there just intact so yeah that's why I asked the doctor that please catch this problem early whether it's in a topic he gotta tell me early you know I don't know but <laughs> how that's gonna happen but I don't want to wait until something ruptures there and then I have to end up like um to surgery or something like that no I don't want to wait for that 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 will be too late for me so yeah so I guess I will be doing an update uh, probably Monday maybe Tuesday because on Monday I'm just gonna have the blood draw and then on Tuesday I'm gonna have um, the results from the blood draw from today Monday and the ultrasound results so Stay tuned for Monday, um, for Tuesday, and see what happens. Pray for me, pray for me, because I really want this baby to be in the right spot. So, see you then. Bye-bye.